All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Universe Sandbox 2. So for those of you who don't know, today is actually a very important day in history because today we got the actual first picture of a black hole. Everything you've seen so far has been an illustration, a theoretical idea based of uh, what we know of relativity and all that stuff. But thanks to a group of scientists today, we got the first actual picture of two black holes, actually. Got, we got a picture of Sagittarius A, the black hole at the center of our galaxy. And we got a picture of M87, uh, the, the black hole at the center of another galaxy. I think it's called Me Messier? I don't know. Whatever. In honor of this discovery, I'm just gonna play around with black holes today and destroy humanity in the worst way possible. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about, right? But what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna play around with the black holes. So what would happen if um, Sagittarius A, which is the black hole at the center of our galaxy, was actually just a neighboring black hole? <laughs> we're just gonna start playing around with this and obviously it's gonna kill my computer because that's what always happens. Uh, but let's just place it here. What is this? One light year away. All right, we're gonna place the massive super massive black hole that is at the center of our galaxy. We're gonna place it only one light year away from us. Oh my god. Oh shit. What the heck, dude? Oh my god, that was insane. That was insane. Of course, that is 500 years per second. So it would actually take about 500 years for us to just be disintegrated here or just launched into infinity. <laughs> Look at that. That was insane right there. Hold on, let's do that again. All right, here we go. So we are at months per second, years per second, six years per second. So it would, it would take a couple of years for this to happen, but oh my God. All right, so you can see that even though some of the orbits are going all the way to the black hole right there, a subsection of them are still sort of like orbiting the sun. So I, I imagine the the black hole is gonna be like the strongest attractor, but the parent orbit is still gonna be the sun. So even though we're moving rapidly towards the freaking black hole there, you can see that some of the orbits, even the moon and the earth is, are still here. We're just still orbiting the sun right here. We're just moving extremely fast towards a super massive black hole. It's insane. I love it, dude. Look at the different patterns it creates. It's freaking beautiful in a way. A lot of them just have this weird infinity orbit that is just a straight line into oblivion right there. But I love the trails, dude. The trails are amazing. Look at this. We are moving rapidly towards it. All right, let's increase the speed here a little bit. So this is years per second. Oh my God. What's the speed we're traveling at? Oh my God. <laughs> just got launched. Isn't this freaking epic? I mean, it looks amazing, but the actual picture is freaking insane. Even though it's super blurry and stuff, it's just the meaning of it, right? The meaning of the picture that people actually accomplished this and that a theory that a human being created 100 years ago actually predicted the existence of this object and how it would look if we could actually see it. And it took like a hundred years for us to get there and it actually predicted what the picture would look like. Look at this. Look at the instant change. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Man, these patterns. I love the geometrical patterns that this creates. It's like this weird dance. I imagine maybe some of the planets would crash against each other. Who knows what would happen, man, as we approach the event horizon there. The simulation is just going insane at this point. Oh, and we're gonna get launched here. Launched. And the game crashed. All right, so the most important image that we got was from a black hole in a neighboring galaxy, a super massive black hole. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go really freaking far away. Let's take a look at the grid here. Yeah, all right, so we're pretty far away here. I'm just gonna place a galaxy nearby. I think the black hole was M87. So I think it's in the middle of this galaxy right here. All right, so there it is. The super massive black hole. Can I click on it? Yes, there it is. Can we see the trail? I'm pretty sure they sort of like rotate. All right, so these are the new orbits. <laughs> 
the solar system uh, like 19 Milky Ways away from uh, the supermassive black hole. And this is the result right here. It's freaking insane. Oh my god. So it would actually take a long time uh, for us to get here, right? And we already know that uh, the orbits remain pretty much intact while we travel, right? Because even though this is the main attractor, the sun is going to remain the orbital parent. And this is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cool, actually. It looks freaking awesome. Look at this. I'm actually surprised my computer can calculate all of this. Look at all the freaking particles. The red things are um, dark matter. All right, so I'm just trying to find this supermassive black hole. It's somewhere over here. <laughs> I can't believe it's so difficult to find. It should be massive, right? Oh, there it is. There it is. I can see it. I can see it right there. So this tiny thing right here, this tiny thing right here, it's like six billion times the mass of the sun. <laughs> This thing right here, six billion times the mass of the sun. It's insane, quite literally insane. So all of this, all of this right here is in part there because of that supermassive black hole. And there is the trail. So the supermassive black hole itself is moving in space, it seems. Can I see orbits? Orbits, orbits are a bad idea here. Oh my god, look at this. This actually kind of looks like the picture. Maybe I predicted how the picture would look like as well. It's insane. Look at the trail for, for the supermassive black hole. It's just flying in space. I don't think it's like bound to a specific place in, in space, right? So I imagine the galaxy is moving with it, right? So relative to everything in the galaxy is in the same place, but relative to a fixed point in space, it's not. I don't know, dude. I'm just pitballing here. We're getting there after thousands of years. Oh, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, do you see that? That's my computer breaking. <laughs> so what if we add a Sagittarius A here? I think M87 is bigger, right? Let's add multiple. <laughs> See what happens. I'm just gonna break my computer here. All right, we have like 10 different supermassive black holes orbiting here. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? Oh boy. Yep. We killed it. Too many black holes in one single spot. <laughs> All right, here's a test that I wanna do. Can I get a black hole, please? Thank you. I kinda wanna find the optimal orbiting spot for this black hole. So if I wanna do. All right, that seems like a legit orbit. All right, so what if I wanted a stable solar system orbiting a black hole? Is that possible? I would have to start with the sun. All right, it seems like it's okay. Then let's go with Mercury right here. The black hole is gonna be the attractor, but the sun is gonna be the parent, right? So there it is, we have Mercury there. All right. Is this the orbit? Question mark. Oh, I think it is. Oh my God, it is. Oh my God, it is. It is. We have, we have a solar system orbiting a supermassive black hole. Here we have it. So we have the local orbits here. Uh, let me try to increase the, the speed here a little bit. It's gonna kill my computer. It can't do it. So we, here we have the local orbits, right? So all of these objects are orbiting the parent object, which is gonna be the sun. And here we have the massive orbit around um, the strongest attractor, which is gonna be the black hole. And oh boy, isn't this something straight out of freaking Dark Souls? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.